A requiem mass would never have crossed the minds of any of these family members and friends last Friday as they counted hours to Alex's wedding day. It was certainly a hard lump to swallow for Maureen Dutta, the bride who would have been at a honeymoon right now, had the gunman who pulled the trigger on Alex failed. His parents broke down as they watched Alex's picture smile back at them from the altar where he would have started a new chapter in his life. Maura, did you have to die in my presence and in my hands? What can I do to make what I feel go away? What can I do to see your face again? As to why an event like this had to take place on a Friday to ensure that maximum pain occurs, one has many questions. Their distress is especially intensified by the fact that to date, investigations are still yet to shed a light into the circumstances surrounding his death. Who are you that did this to our son? Why did you do it? Did you have to do it, surely? Maureen, who carries their seven-month-old child, is still at a loss for how to come to terms with such a cruel fate that snatched her husband and her baby's father. As friends and family plan to lay Alex Maura to rest, they still agonize over the unsolved mystery surrounding his death. Their relief will only come when his assailants come face to face with justice. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Live at 9, Kiambu.